Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks and I'm Keith and today I'm going to do the all-time British classic dish. I'm going to make roast beef and Yorkshire puddings. But I'm doing it in an air fryer. I've done videos of roast beef and Yorkshire's previously because you have to. But uh, this time I'm doing, doing it with a twist. I'm using an air fryer. Last year, 2022, uh, air fryers suddenly came rocketing out of nowhere to be the kitchen gadget that everybody wanted. And the reason for that is the cost of energy. And people are starting to realize that, uh, well, first of all, an air fryer is completely misnamed. It should be a, called a small convection oven because that is effectively what it is. And that means you can roast things in it, you can bake things in it. They're very, very versatile. So um, if you can get your hands on one, well worth doing so, I think. Anyway, if you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. And let's get on with it. Our roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. I'm going to start with the Yorkshire puddings because the batter needs to rest for a bit before we use it. So I've got 100 grams of plain all-purpose flour and 100 ml of liquid. This is all milk. Some people use half and half milk and water. So first thing to do, mix it, mix it well. Add the salt. Mix it in. Add the eggs. Don't be tempted to skimp on the eggs. They are what makes your Yorkshire's rise in a spectacular fashion. Mix in the liquid and try to get a reasonably smooth batter. Something like that. So we'll set that aside until we need it. I'm gonna start some roast potatoes, but you don't need to see that because that's really not what this recipe is about. Here's my chunk of beef, and what I like to do when I'm roasting a, a, a big chunk of meat is to sit it on a trivet of onion, carrot and celery. Just So this is grass-fed British beef roasting joint, non-specific, and 36 days matured. So it should be, uh, should be okay. It's 1.33 kilos, which is about three pounds. So it doesn't actually specify what, what joint, what cut of beef it is, but generally in the UK it'll be called top side or silver side or salmon cut. And that's basically from the top end of the back legs of a cow. So this has been out of the fridge just sitting in the kitchen. And it needs at least half an hour just to kind of acclimatise. And also I noticed if you peel off this label, there's another one underneath with the cooking instructions, um, which are just ludicrous. According to them, it'll take two hours to cook this. According to me, it'll take 62 minutes. They're aiming for shoe leather. I'm aiming, aiming for medium rare. So let's open him up. Actually, I'm, I'm just going to rinse that under the tap and then dry it. Slice me carrot and me celery. And the onion, get rid of the skin and slice it like that and now <laughs> okay so this is the tray from the air fryer oven and i'll just spread out these veggies just in one half of it because i'm going to do the roast potatoes in that half this needs to be seasoned with salt and pepper and Sprinkle with some mustard powder if you like. This can is nearly empty. You notice there's string on this, which always used to make me a bit suspicious, but in in this case, well, sometimes with roasting joints, they will strap on a bit of extra fat on the top. A useful thing to have for, for juiciness and basting, but um, they haven't done that with this. But what can also happen with the more dodgy establishments is they'll basically be tying together some substandard or some off-cut bits of meat which isn't you know really what you want there's not actually much fat on this one though which is a bit of a shame never mind right i need to preheat the air fryer to 
uh, well actually as hot as it will go which is 220 celsius and basically what we're doing is we're going to give it 20 minutes at that high temperature and then we'll lower it to 160 celsius your cooking time you calculate it on the basis of uh, for well done now for for medium 14 minutes per pound per 450 grams so that gives me three times 14 plus the initial 20 minutes so it comes to 62 minutes so after about 10 minutes i actually basted the meat and the veggies with some duck fat and after 20 minutes we turn the temperature down to 160 degrees celsius and then add the potatoes for roasting. These have been boiled for about 10-15 minutes till they're tender and rattled around in a colander to roughen up the edges. And I'll just add some more duck fat to that. And after 15 minutes or so, I'll stir it around and get them all completely coated. The beef has gone beep, so let's take its temperature and see if it's done. So for medium rare, it should be between 55 and 59 celsius when it comes out of the oven Ta -da. okay fantastic so i'll put that on a warmed plate and tent it in foil and it will stay warm and it will continue to cook a little bit. So I'll just sort this out. I want to separate the liquid from those little veggies and separate the roasties. I've got some duck fat in my Yorkshire pudding tins. These can cook a bit longer along with the Yorkshire puddings. So I'll strain off the, the liquid. Now it's time to cook the Yorkshire pudding. So you want the air fryer on its maximum heat setting and put some fat in the tin and heat it until it's bubbling. You can do this in the air fryer or on the hob and then pour in the batter. Don't put too much in and stick it in the air fryer for 10-15 minutes till it's risen and golden but be aware that the heating elements in an air fryer are in the top so don't put the puddings in too high or you might burn them and you might need to turn them over at the end to cook the undersides for a few minutes so now i'm going to make some gravy i'm melting a big blob of butter in a saucepan sifted the same amount of flour stir that around form a paste a roux let that cook out for about a minute or so and then add some stock. Stir that in, get that nice and smooth and when it thickens you can also add the, the sort of drippings from the beef and when we get round to carving the beef there's some juice there that's, that's come out that can also go in the gravy. Yeah, let's take temperature. 61. <laughs> okay so that's uh, that's fine. Taste test time, you say? <laughs> oh, no, I haven't said it yet. You secretly said it to me before. Okay, now it's taste test time. time. <laughs> With Mrs. Keith Cooks. You have, you have, you have, yeah. Right, Ooh. eat that. Well, all of it. Yeah. <laughs> Please help. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, the Yorkshire's look good. And the roasties always look good. I love the way Keith does roast potato. Eating like this at home just ruins you for going out. You know that, don't you? <laughs> yeah. The whole shred, yeah? Yes. Was it out of a jar? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I Maybe. tried growing horseradish. It's huge. I mean, really? it, yeah, it's absolutely massive. I've never really actually seen it. Mm. What's, what's it like? Is it like radish? But much, 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 much bigger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I gave up. It just took up too much garden space. Okay. Roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, and some other bits. Air fry up. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks for watching, and see you next time. What, did you do the roast beef in the air fryer? Yeah, but... Crikey. <laughs>